Minecraft Mondays. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Strike, and welcome to Minecraft Mondays. In today's episode, we are going to be celebrating the return of The Walking Dead. And today, we're going to be building a big Rick Grimes to uh, commemorate this return of this great series. There's a cord in front of my TV. Don't fall, webcam. Webcam! Alright, 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 you're good, you're good, you're good. Alright. Anyway. We are going to take this, as you can see, um, the, it's right next to my Wade and Me statue, although I literally built this thing right in front of me, so I kind of don't know if I want to keep it there, but it doesn't matter because we're building it. We're going to be building Rick Grimes from the end of Season 4 because uh, he looks pretty much the same in the beginning of Season 5, or at least he does in all the trailers, and yeah, so let's start off, I guess... Um, let me look at this guy. Look at him. Um, I need reference pictures so I know what I'm doing. I do want him with his jacket because the jacket is like in season four. And his beard is actually kind of looking a bit gray on the gray side. So let's go ahead and make his beard gray then. Um, it probably won't look right, but... It, it's kind of brownish gray. Like I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, it's definitely brownish gray. All right, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna come up here real quick and do the eyes. I'm gonna give him one layer on the top for hair, and it's getting dark out. Whenever it gets dark out, I'm just gonna go over to a bed and quickly go to sleep because I don't want to be out too long. I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of that. Let's get rid of the area around the eyes. This will be the nose area. Rick's big nose. And I totally destroyed this piece, didn't I? That doesn't look right already. Wow. Alright. Okie dokie, now let's get rid of he looks like some sort of weird chipmunk right now, so let's get rid of that. Yeah, it, it, and this picture, it looks like he his hair is all is definitely uh brown, but um his beard looks to be a bit and these birchwood planks look really dark compared to they when they do in normal like the normal texture pack. You were this the default texture pack. I'm just gonna add his. Uh, I'm gonna like add basically a clean shaven face, and then I'm gonna add the beard on. On or and then I'm gonna restart really replacing these with the beard pieces. But uh, first of all, I'm gonna go over to my Enderman house and go to bed really quickly, so I can get morning uh, real quick because you know I want to um, be. I want to make sure I want to be. I want to make sure that uh, I have light so I know what I'm doing and I can see my work pretty darn well. Now, um, I may not do a full body thing here. Okay, here we go. Here he is. I'm going to add the mouth. The mouth on that guy would be right around here. So I guess I just add, oops, I destroyed the white, and that's not right, ah, and then I am going, nah, I don't want to make it go up against his eyes, that'd look weird, I do want to add more down here though. Because, alright, well, darn it. He kind of looks like, uh, what's his face? Herschel, sorry. I, I couldn't think of his name for a sec for some reason. Ah, darn it, I hit my headset. Yeah, so, you know what? I'm just going to do it in brown, screw it. It looks pretty gray. I'll add little bits of gray, I guess, but, um, 
I'm just going to make his beard brown. It's probably inaccurate because it looks really gray in this picture I'm looking at. And I think this is season four. Yeah, it's season four. But I don't want to make him look too old, so I'm just going to make him with a brown beard. There we go. That looks good. I like that gray down there, actually. And then... I'm just going to add stuff there. And what I want to do with the beard is I want to start... This is all going to be beard here. And then this is the top of his head. So let's make that come down here. And, yeah. He's going to have to have an ear in there somewhere, but... I don't really do hair too well, so let's try to see how this looks so far. He's going to have a little area there, and then his ear is probably going to be right around here, maybe? So, yeah. That'll be that. And his hair is going to go all the way down to the... the neck area because his hair looks pretty long in the beginning of season 5 at least from what I've seen from the trailers and stuff let's just go ahead oops darn it darn it alright there we go gosh why was that so hard alright why does this look weird alright Well, maybe his ear would be right about there. <sighs> I guess. I hope that looks right, at least. What do I do on here, over here? It's three blocks in and then an ear. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I did here. How, how high up is it? It's only two blocks underneath the hairline. So the ear should be right around there, I guess. That's just what I'm doing with this. Um, yeah, okay, then that's where the beard will be. All right, yeah, that's fine. And this is the hair. All right, perfect. And just so you know, I was going to just kind of do one based off of a Minecraft skin for like, you know, PC, but no one has made a season four style Rick that I would want to use. So and then this whole back and top of the head is literally just going to be brown wool because he's got pretty much brown hair all on the back and top of his head so I don't see what else we could do I mean I guess you could put some uh, skin tone color down here since to show like the back of his neck or something but really in the season 5 he looks like his uh, his uh, hair looks pretty long so oops I can't wait. It's uh, currently, what time is it? 2.04 in the afternoon. And um, I think it premieres tonight at like 9 or something. I, I don't remember what time, but I know I have it recorded. So if I ended up missing it somehow, I'd be able to see it. I've got a lot of TV shows. <coughs> Excuse me. i got a lot of TV shows. That I've been, uh, mm, my gosh, there's something in my throat. Mm. I got a lot of TV shows I'm watching right now. Um, the Walking Dead is coming back tonight. Um, I just started watching Gotham last week, the Batman TV show, you know, before, 
he's he's even a grown up. Uh, Bruce Wayne is like a kid in this, and it's about Commissioner Gordon and Harvey Bullock in the corrupt GCPD and the really messed up Gotham. And it's 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 pretty good so far. Uh, Arrow just came back. That is that is like one of my favorite shows. It's right up there on my on my in my opinion. Arrow is like right up there with uh, The Walking Dead and Breaking Bad. Like, oh my god, I love Arrow. It's so good. I had to make sure I'm doing this right. So one block in is where it starts. And then there's two. And then this drops down for the beard. I think. Yeah, okay. Good. Alright, Carl. We gotta build this, Carl. I gotta have a beard, Carl. Carl. Alright, I'm gonna stop doing that. That's kinda getting annoying. Yeah. I'm gonna add that there because it looks better. I'm pretty sure I, I was. There, there's a marathon on right now, currently. This is, by the way, this is gonna be uploaded at the day after the premiere. So, um. Yeah. Just thought I'd. Like let everyone know that, but um, but uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the premiere. Um, this is gonna be aired after the premiere, so I'm gonna probably mention stuff that no one's probably gonna understand really. Um, but uh, there was a marathon. I'm pretty sure of all the episodes. Um, on for the past couple of days, the Walking Dead marathon just kind of has been going on, and. Um, I'm pretty sure they showed the whole series up to, uh, up till the premiere tonight. They're on, currently on season four. When I started watching it the other night, they were on season five, or two, five. Alright, yeah, so, you can't really tell he has ears, it just looks really weird. I mean, I guess I could kind of, kind of make it, like, come back a little bit. But I want to see how this looks, because if I don't like it, I'm gonna I'm not gonna do it. Eh. Actually, let's 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 scrape that and make it look like that. That's where the ear is. Um. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm just gonna say that this two by two block right here is the ear. Let's go with that. Um. Oops. Oh, no, wait, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I did it backwards. Darn it. That's not going to matter, because I'm going to start building down there soon, but... I guess that looks okay. It kind of still looks a bit odd, but... Oh, well. What are you going to do? That's our Rick. That's actually not a bad face. I'm going to give him eyebrows, though, because... Yeah, okay. I didn't give myself eyebrows or weighed eyebrows because those skins don't have anything on them. Alright, now, um, is there like a really dark brown color I'd want to use for... Let's see what soul sand looks like. I'm going to replace this sand. Okay, yeah, I like that. Let's use the soul sand for the, the jacket. This jacket is going to look pretty good. Uh, soul Sand's getting dark again. Um, I will... Alright, I'm going to etch this out here. Okay, I want to make it more than that. Before we go to bed again. Oops. Stop it. He's got a white shirt that's showing. Alright, let's go to bed. So we can work on that in the morning. Alright. Looking at my Rick reference here. Yeah. This might be a pretty long episode, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to go on for. 
I just wanted to build a rick. Oh yeah, let's uh, ah, let's get the bottom of the beard here, and let's just do brown. Ooh, ah. Let's go around to the back. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to make it look like that. And then we're going to want to add this is going to be like the fuzzy stuff on his jacket. Leave that there, actually. He's got like, uh, well, see, the problem is, is it's more of like the color of the birch wood that I use for the skin. But I can't do that. I, you know what? Screw this. Does that look better? Eh, it looks okay. Anyway, um, yeah. Eh, actually, this isn't even going to look right. He's got, like, this fuzzy stuff going on with his jacket, and I don't know how to make it actually... goes around his neck. I'm just going to make it out of this color. It doesn't look accurate. In fact, the color of uh, the birchwood planks look more like the jacket fuzzies than the um, I'm just going to assume it's like one layer back here. Or you know what? I'm just going to make it two just to be safe. Alright, now we're going to uh, move on and back, get back to the using the soul sand. Actually, I want to, before we do any of that, I'm going to come back around here. Let's make it so that, like, the jacket kind of, kind of comes over to this side, like jackets. Sometimes you his is a zip-up jacket, so it doesn't exactly do that. But let's do that anyway, because I want it to be somewhat realistic. And for the zipper, let's just use iron. That's going to be a zipper. It looks kind of off, but... Oh, well, it's got to look right, I guess. Now, let's just re fill this whole thing in with soul sand. Um, up to here, because that's where the hand is going to be. Soul Sand is very creepy looking, by the way. Look at all those faces. Oh, hello. What was that? Eh. Eh. I'm really excited for the season of The Walking Dead, though. Like, the whole Terminus thing. Okay, so, like, um, I'm probably not going to... Oh, that, wait, that's the hand. Darn it. Uh, I'm going to... Cut it off right here. And, uh, yeah, sorry. That was dumb. Um, Terminus just looks, like, really messed up. The whole thing with, uh... Like, okay, I watched this video, and it was recapping the whole series. Uh, it's by the Fine Bros. They're pretty popular, so... Um, you guys should probably know who they are, and if you don't, I'm kind of surprised because they're, like, super popular. But, uh, they did a whole series recap of The Walking Dead up to the end of Season 4, and apparently I overlooked, um, the fact that Terminus is basically cannib a cannibal cult-type thing. I apparently did not know this when I watched Season 4, and I was kind of shocked because it was kind of out of the blue a bit. Like, I had no idea. And now we shred that. And I just broke part of the 
thing. I don't know why I just did that. It was r literally right next to the soul stand. And... There. Oh, wait, I need a second thing, don't I? And we're going to shred this hand. We're going to do the hand first for some reason. I just kind of decided to do that. Ugh, getting sloppy here. Yeah. And my dogs are barking. I, if I get interrupted one more time, I'm going to, like, f flip my lid. I may have cut it out. I hope I cut it out, but um, I did a jump cut because my mother interrupted my recording. She wanted to talk to me, and I told her I'm recording, and she walked away. She's probably mad at me, but what are you going to do? I'm not going to sit here and re -re like redo this because that would just be ridiculous. I've already come so far. How long have we been recording, by the way? I'm going to check. I'm going to check. This is going to be a really long video. 20 minutes already, dang. Um, yeah. I pot. Whoa. Okay, yeah, I messed up. Definitely messed up the hand there. Eh. Ugh. Really? Alright. Anyway. Let's shred this arm. Ugh. Alright, there we go. By the way, um, she was in the first episode of, uh, Minecraft Mondays, but um, Adorkable Cat was going to be in this episode, and uh, just random shout out to her because uh, she couldn't be here today because I'm recording. Okay, another random jump cut. I'm going to have to edit this episode harshly because I keep getting interrupted. My mom just interrupted my recording twice to tell me something she could have waited. She made it sound like an emergency, so I had to go see what she was talking about, and... Now, basically, what she had to tell me was that our dryers busted, and I had, I'm my all my clothes are hang drying, which definitely could have waited. It was kind of ridiculous, but anyway. This is just going to completely go off this whole back. And you know, I could have I I could have totally um just uh built the statue from scratch, like built it up, but I like doing this way. I saw this in an episode of Drunk Minecraft. Uh if you don't know what Drunk Minecraft is, if you don't know who Markiplier is, he's a huge YouTube indie gamer. He is like my my hero pretty much for doing these things, like doing these walkthroughs and stuff, so he's really the reason I got into this. Um, actually, not only do I have a Walking Dead poster like directly behind me, but uh, um, I also have a Markiplier poster, which he just did for his charity live stream, um, over there by my wall. It's probably not going to get caught on camera, though. Um, not in any of my videos. Or not unless I show it off per intentionally in a video. But it's almost night time, but I want to finish this front jacket part. Darn it. Eh. Alright. Oh, wait, just one more piece. Boop. And then that's the front. There's our... Uh, Walking Dead um, Rick so far. Let's go to bed quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, 
speaking of market player and charity live streams, uh, if I ever figure out how, I would love to do live streams. Uh, I need to figure out how, and I need to have a bigger audience than I have now because doing a live stream with a small audience wouldn't be as fun. Uh, but I, if I figure it out, I'll totally do it. And then I can do like I can live stream me playing Batman Arkham Origins and stuff. And we're gonna go with I guess a dark blue for the pants. There's nothing really that matches like a jean color. And then for the he's got like these boots, these like clog looking things. I'm gonna go with. For his boots, and his boots, uh, what do I want to use? Um, just gonna use oak wood, I guess. There's nothing really all that great. I'm gonna keep the last two things for his boots. Oh yeah, and I'll have to add his gun holster too, won't I? Because, you know, Rick's got to have his gun. Ooh, I missed a row. Uh, this video is probably going to be heavily edited because... And I'm not going to enjoy that because my editing software is not the best for that kind of thing. And I usually don't like to sift through my videos. I really, Arkham City is the only um, series that I actually really like to edit heavily. Like, honestly, for LEGO Batman 3, I might do that too. But um, LEGO Batman 2, playing through it again, I'm not actually a big fan of that game as I was back when it came out. Like, when that game came out, I loved it. It was fun. I got it around the same time I got Arkham City. Um, but the, the only difference is, is that LEGO Batman 2 was like, brand spanking new when I bought it and Arkham City had been out for a couple of months and I think by the point that I actually bought Arkham City all the DLC was out for it so yeah that was years ago that was 2012 that was over two years ago that was like July of 2012 oh my gosh I feel so nostalgic because it, to think about only two years ago was when I first bought Arkham Asylum in Arkham City and the, and basically just this Xbox that I'm playing on right now because I never had my own gaming console this was my first ever personal gaming console before that me and my brother had a PlayStation 2 but it was just that it was shared with my brother and then that thing got like abused poorly and sadly didn't make it I think somehow we ended up selling it to GameStop at one point. I don't know how they accepted it at all because that thing was like that thing was like destroyed basically. My brother ripped that one a new one. Yeah, we were me and my brother were both pretty pretty rage-tacular on games. We used to uh there was one stupid game we had called like Nickelodeon or Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island. It was a fun game, but I remember there was this one boss battle we didn't know how to how to how to beat. And it was something really simple like launching something at it till it gets hit back enough, gets hit far back enough to where it hits the um To where it hits like a waterfall. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but that game was so. I might do a throwback Thursday on that when I get back into the game on that. Get like get back into the recording uh, all the time, which might not be for a while again because um, school is going on right now. That's my top priority. I need to stay focused on that. I may have a bit more time because one of my classes is actually almost already over, which is crazy considering that I basically just started a couple weeks ago. I think this is week 8 we're going into. Wow. Week 8. That's crazy. I'm pretty... Yeah, we're going into week 8. Oh my god. Week 8 of school. I remember when it was my first week of school and I was afraid because 
I thought college was just going to be... Oh, wait. Oh, no, I do want it there. Okay. I thought it was going to be, like... I thought college was just going to be, like, military school or something. But, um, I don't know. Is there anything else I can add? Not really, I guess. I mean, I can add here. I'm going to... He's got some sort of weird, like, strap thing. That just kind of looks weird. You know what? I'm taking that out. <laughs> I could add blood, but these pictures, he looks pretty cleaned up. But yeah, anyway, um, this is Rick. Rick Grimes from the Season 4 of The Walking Dead. Basically, well, Season 5, but... Um, Yeah, I think I think he looks good. Uh, I could add like a gun holster or something, but I'm kind of making this video a bit longer than it needs to be. So that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to cut it here. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Minecraft Mondays, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Later, taters. On this episode of Minecraft Mondays, I'm going to be showing you my Wayne Manor slash Batcave world. Now, to start off, this is the main hall based on the Batman Arkham City challenge map. The only uh, things that you'll notice that are a bit different is, as you can see here, um, there are two doors at the front of Wayne Manor in the challenge map of Martin City, and the way the whole layout of this map is, it can't be...